Hello, I'm Ben Thompson, and today we're going to talk about um, having more peace in our community and in the world. Peace is one of the, the greatest things that we should strive for. Now, we have a, a saying in this country that there's two things you shouldn't bring up, and that's politics and religion. Both bring heated debates. But, um, we should, I believe we should talk about religion, because it's something that's so deep and personal in our culture. And we were founded on religious freedom, which gives us the, the right to worship how we see fit. Now, one problem is that we tend to focus only on our differences, and we forget that there is truth a common truth that is within all religions. And even if you do not believe in religions, you know that this truth is right. You know it's wrong to steal. You know it's wrong to murder. You know it's wrong to, to cheat on your spouse. These are basic truths that, we, that um, are recorded in all these religions. And this truth comes from God. In my own uh, belief system, I believe that God is the source of all truth, and that all lies and corruption are from the evil one, who we call the devil. Now, God is a uniter and is filled with peace, and we know that's true because when we look in all religions, uh, they all teach about peace. That's because God loves peace. He wants his children, all of us, to be at peace with another. I do not believe that it is right that we should argue and fight about, about our religious differences. God would rather have us look at our similarities. And when we see that these things are being taught and it's all the same, then we can know that's the truth that comes from God. Anything else is up to you to come to believe and understand. That's uh, what, one of the, the whole reasons behind the founding of American colonies from uh, Great Britain. This is that they could worship as they understood. In this, in our first newsletter, I give many quotations from different scriptures from among the different religions. All of them show the importance of peace. And you, you may be familiar with some of these sayings. Love your en enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. There is no good in many of their conferences except the conferences of such as enjoying charity or goodness, or the making of peace among men, and whoso does that, seeking the pleasure of Allah, we shall soon bestow on him a great reward. There is no evil equal to hatred, and no spiritual practice equal to forbearance. Therefore, one ought to develop forbearance by various means with great effort. Outstanding is he whose soul views in the selfsame way friends, comrades, enemies, those indifferent, neutrals, men who are hateful, and those who are his kin, the good and the evil too. Love your neighbor as yourself. The Lord himself, the life of the world, is the giver of peace. He himself forgives and unites with himself. So those are many quotations from the many different religions that are within the Alameda County. Now, there is an enemy that is seeking to divide us as a people. They want to take black and white and fight them against each other. They want to take people of all races and divide them and get them to fight against each other so that they will not recognize who's the real enemy. The enemy is the one trying to divide us. You can believe whatever it is. But anyone teaching you hatred 
in any form is not on your side. The media is constantly giving us reasons to hate. We need to hate the people overseas in the Middle East because they might hurt us. We need to hate the Republicans. We need to hate the Democrats. They're the ones causing the problems. Those messages of hatred are designed to divide us. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to be united. We must not allow them to divide us. And so, take some time and to realize that there is people. Go back and look at the, the media and look at the messages that are spreading hate and division amongst us. Those people have an agenda. Now, what that is, who can say? Except those who are learned in that in their in their ways. But for the if what we need to do is understand what they are trying to do and to fight against it, say no, we will not be divided. We're not going to hate our neighbors. We're going to promote peace to the world. And through that means we will be able to, to learn to stand together. And so, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. There are many more important things that we have to discuss. And thank you and have a good day.